Hey guys, what is up? It is Noah here, and today I'm taking a look at the new snapshot, which I cannot remember the name of it. It's 13W36B, I think. I think that's right, maybe. But anyway, getting right into things. Um, I am in... It's not necessarily a new biome, it's just a bit different. It's like the snow biome except it doesn't have snow. It has the spruce trees, but no snow. Because now, the way it is, if you go to, I think, an X of, no, a Y of 90 or higher, I believe, it can snow. Uh, why'd I do that? Um, so, once you get above 90, there's a chance, if you're in the right biome, that there will be snow. And also, I'm just completely winging it, by the way. Uh, this isn't planned out at all. Also, there is a ton of new flowers. There are the pink tulips, orange, there's rose bushes, red tulips. Perhaps it would be easier if I just went through all the blocks. First, there is Podzol, or Podzol, or whatever, and it spawns in a new biome. It's kind of like Mycelium, only, I guess, it looks different. It's like grass, but with a different texture on top. Um, let's see what else there is. There is Packed Ice. Which is, let me get ice as an example. It is like ice, only it's not transparent. Like, you can see through this ice, but you can't see through this. It is also in one of the new biomes, which is an ice plains spike biome, I believe it's called. So, maybe I'll find one of those flying around. Um, all the flowers, there are... Red tulip, azure bleu, if that's French. It might just be bluet, and I'm trying to pronounce it as French. Aluum, blue orchid, poppy, dandelion, oxy daisy, pink tulip, white tulip, orange tulip. Um, there's lilacs, there's double tall grass, large ferns, and... Um, also, actually, I'm gonna grab a sunflower. There's a sunflower. I think they always face towards the sun. I think. Or they just face, like, the direction the sun rises in. I don't know. Uh, but there's large fern, which is two blocks high. Large grass, which is two blocks high. And... I thought there was... Well, there's the rose bush which is also two blocks high. Sheep, how dare you, get out of here. Um, this water is a perfect place for me to demonstrate that now fishing rods can be enchanted with lure and luck of the sea. So you can now enchant fishing rods. Also, maybe I'll get lucky here. Um. You'll see when I'm about to catch something, there's like a trail of bubbles that will lead up to it, signifying like there's a fish about to bite, get ready. Uh, like right there. And, hey, I caught an enchanted book of, holy mother of mothers, that's a good enchanted book. <laughs> wow, I actually didn't know you could get enchanted books. Um, let's try one more to see if I get lucky anything anything okay um well instead of this being boring I think I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what I want to show you so if you go into food there's now in addition to the regular fish there's a salmon a clownfish, 
and a puffer fish, as well as there being a cooked salmon. So I'm going to really quickly go into survival here to demonstrate why you do not want to eat a puffer fish. But first I have to run around a bit, so I'm hungry. So I'll just run over here to show you there is a new texture on sugarcane. It looks slightly different. I think it's like a more vibrant green than like the pale green that it used to be. Come on, hunger. Okay, there. I'm hungry. So now, if I were to eat this puffer fish, ah, uh, cows are loud. If I were to eat this puffer fish, it will give me hunger three, poison four, and nausea two. So I can't, I cannot stress this enough. Do not eat puffer fish. They will kill you. Well, actually, they won't kill you. But that will. <laughs> uh, and I just found a spawner I was going to look at. Um, so, also, with the fishing, I should mention, there's a lot of different things you can catch. Like, there, you can catch name tags, I know, as well as the various fish. Um, I think you can catch, like, leather boots or something like that. Anyway, I'm just going to look for some of the new biomes here, and I believe I just found one. This is called the... I forget the name. Not Extreme Hills. I think it's like the Stone Beach, or something of that nature. It's saying Extreme Hills Plus, but it doesn't really look like very extreme hills. I don't know. But yeah, it's all gravelly and stone. Anyway, um, coming over here, this is... I am can demonstrate now that when you're at 90 blocks or above in certain biomes, there will be snow. So you can have, like, really cool-looking snow-capped mountains, which I think is pretty awesome. Um, I'm not having any luck finding the new biomes, so... I'm probably just going to cut to myself finding one. Okay, well, it turns out, instead of finding a biome, I have found wild melons. Actual wild melons that spawn in the wild. It's amazing, you can actually find melons easily now, like pumpkins. It's amazing. Anyway, just thought I'd let you know that, because that was something I didn't even know before starting this video. And now, back to the hunt for new biomes. Okay guys, I have found the first of one of the new biomes, which is a forest completely made of birch trees. And I actually like this biome a lot, because not only is it all birch, which looks kind of cool, there are different heights, like this one's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, probably 11 blocks. Mm -hmm. And this one's like 4, 5, 6 maybe. So there's a lot of variation here with the different heights of trees and such, making it look pretty cool in my opinion. Um, also, something else to note that I did not know until, like, just two seconds ago, there is a new music disc called Wait, which I'm going to play for a bit. Okay, so anyway, that is wait. Um, also, I should probably mention there's a whole new system for sounds. There's the master volume, jukebox and note blocks, uh, blocks environment, friendly animals, players, enemy monsters, weather, and music. So you can now fine-tune your sound. There's also super secret settings, which you 
If you click, it just makes a random noise. Hopefully you guys were able to hear that, because those sound kind of weird. But, one more thing. There is a potion of water breathing. So, if I were to just dig a little pit here for me to jump in, and go into game mode zero, I will be able to breathe underwater. So yeah, just chilling underwater forever. I have that for a minute and 45 seconds. So that's really cool for trying to be like stealthy if you're on a server, you can go underwater, be invisible, all that stuff. But back into creative, and on my merry way I go to find another biome. Alright, here is another one of the biomes that uses the podsol, or podsol, or however you pronounce that, and also has some different kind of spruce trees. They're a lot taller, some of them are, and thicker four, like, four in a square. Um, ooh, this looks pretty cool. Uh, I don't know what's up with the just random mossy cobblestone. I guess that's a thing. So, that makes finding mossy cobblestone much easier if you find one of these biomes. So, just gonna give you a good view of it here. Or a cloud. And there is the, what's it called, Mega Taiga Biome. I knew that. I just forgot it. So, on to the next one. Okay, another biome on the list of new ones is the Roofed Forest. So, as you can see, it's like a much denser forest with some bigger trees. So, much better for collecting wood. It is actually dark enough where there's uh, zombies and other evil creatures can spawn. It also has naturally spawning giant mushrooms, which is pretty awesome, considering it's very difficult to find those normally. You have to find a mushroom biome, which takes usually a very long time, because they're pretty rare. But anyway, this is the new roofed forest biome. Pretty swanky, I think. So, let's see now if I can find the last two. Okay, so I know I already showed you guys this, but this is just a much better example of the new stone beach. And this one actually technically is a stone beach. If I go over here, it'll say my biome is the stone beach. So, this is what it looks like. A lot of stone, a lot of cobblestone. There's actually a really nifty bay there with, like, spikes and pillars of rock on each side and, like, a lava fall, which looks really cool. And also, this is a much better demonstration of snow above a Y of 90. A much, much better demonstration of that. So, anyway, I'm determined to find those last two biomes, and I will be back when I do. Okay, here is one of the final two I want to show you. This is the Savannah Plateau, or just Savannah biome. There's also a Savannah Plateau, which is just like this, only with plateaus. <laughs> so, there's actually a village right here, in this quaint little Savannah. So, maybe this is like the little base camp for some sort of safari who knows but anyway this is probably a good time for me to note that they've made it so now if you're in say a desert biome biomes of like the same temperature will be next to each other so like savannas like africa it's very hot and dry so it gets put right next to a desert same thing for like 
uh, snow biome, just like a normal forest would be by that. It wouldn't just go directly from snow to desert or vice versa. And actually, here looks like a plateau. So this is what the plateaus will look like. Let's see if it says... Yes, now it says I'm in a savanna plateau biome. And this is a much better example of the savanna. Let me just make it time set 1000. Or I need space there. And I need to actually spell it correctly. Ugh, goodness. Okay, there we go. So, this is the savanna biome, and hopefully, I can find the last one that I'm looking for. Okay, I finally managed to find the other biome in all of its glory. Are you ready for this? <gasps> it's a rainbow! <laughs> so, this is made out of different layers of hardened clay many different layers like it's, it's earth the geography of earth lots of different colors and it actually looks really awesome and I don't know if these are supposed to be rare or not but I literally had to look up a seed to find one after like half an hour of searching but they look amazing and it is no longer going to be difficult to find hardened clay so yeah <laughs> that is it for 13w36b i hope you enjoyed and see you next time adios <laughs>